Israel has achieved a groundbreaking advancement in air defense technology by declaring its Iron Beam High Energy Laser Weapon System operational following the successful completion of final trials in September 2025. This positions the country as the first to deploy a fully functional 100 kilowatt class directed energy system for real world military use, with initial units slated to integrate into the Israel Defense Forces by the end of the year. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in partnership with the Ministry of Defense over more than a decade, the Iron Beam addresses persistent threats from regional adversaries by providing a cost-effective layer to existing systems like Iron Dome, which relies on expensive kinetic interceptors. The system's readiness stems from extensive live-fire testing, including scenarios involving salvos of incoming projectiles, demonstrating its ability to operate reliably in complex environments. With a total investment exceeding $500 million since 2010, this development highlights Israel's strategic focus on qualitative technological superiority to counter asymmetric warfare tactics such as mass rocket barrages. The Iron Beam's capabilities center on neutralizing short-range aerial threats, including small-caliber rockets, artillery shells, mortars, and unmanned aerial vehicles of various sizes at distances from hundreds of meters to several kilometers. It achieves this through a high-power laser beam that delivers thermal energy to superheat and structurally compromise targets in seconds, enabling rapid engagement of multiple threats without the need for physical ammunition replenishment. The system's unlimited magazine is constrained only by electrical power supply, typically from diesel generators or grid connections, allowing for sustained operations during prolonged attacks. In tests, it has proven effective against threats traveling at speeds up to Mark 1, with a success rate above 90% in controlled scenarios involving up to 10 simultaneous targets. The beam's pinpoint accuracy minimizes collateral damage, as there are no explosive remnants or wide area effects, making it suitable for deployment near populated areas. Variants include the Iron Beam M, which can be truck mounted for maneuverability, and the Naval Iron Beam for ship based defense, expanding its utility across land, sea, and fixed site applications. Integration with radar networks, such as those from ELTA systems, allows for automated target acquisition and handoff, where the laser complements kinetic systems by handling lower cost threats while reserving missiles for high value or long range engagements. Technologically, the Iron Beam employs a solid-state fiber laser generating 100 kilowatts of output power focused through a 450 mm aperture beam director to maintain coherence over operational ranges. Adaptive optics play a critical role, using deformable mirrors and wavefront sensors to correct for atmospheric distortions like turbulence and aerosols in real time, updating at rates of thousands of hertz to ensure the beam remains concentrated with a spot size under 10 cm at maximum range. Thermal management is handled by advanced cooling systems, including liquid loops and heat exchangers to dissipate waste heat and enable continuous firing cycles of up to 30 seconds per shot before brief cool down. The system's electro-optical tracking suite incorporates infrared cameras and laser range finders for precise aiming with software algorithms prioritizing threats based on trajectory and velocity data from linked sensors. Power efficiency stands at around 30%, meaning a 300 kW input yields the 100 kW beam, supported by compact supercapacitors for burst modes. This configuration not only enhances lethality, but also reduces logistical footprints, as each interception costs approximately $2 in electricity compared to $40,000 to $90,000 for a Tamir missile. In contrast, China's LY-1 laser weapon system, unveiled during the September 2025 Victory Day Parade, represents a significant step in its directed energy arsenal, but differs in design and maturity. Configured for both shipborne and ground-based roles, it operates in the double-digit kilowatt range, likely 50 to 80 kilowatts, based on similar systems, and focuses on intercepting drones, cruise missiles, helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft by damaging optical sensors or electronics, rather than causing full structural failure. Its range is estimated at 2 to 5 kilometers for effective disruption, with a truck-mounted demonstrator shown, though primary emphasis is on naval integration to form layered defenses alongside HQ-10 and HQ-16 missiles. 
development traces back to 2019. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation has pursued similar technologies with the MK2A Shastra Shakti system successfully tested in April 2025 at 30 kilowatts, capable of destroying drones and surveillance assets up to 5 kilometers using six combined 5 kilowatt beams and 360 degree electro optical sensors. The ongoing Durga 2 project aims for 100 kilowatts to target missiles and aircraft across platforms, while the Surya Initiative targets 300 kilowatts by 2027 for 20 kilometer engagements against high speed threats. These efforts, including vehicle mounted variants, show progress but remain in testing phases without full deployment, trailing the iron beam's current operational status.